Hey guys, Steve Reed here with SAPT, and I just want to give some quick tips and considerations on a fantastic unilateral upper body pressing exercise, the landmine press. Most of you watching already likely know a lot of the benefits of the landmine press and why it's a good idea to do, so I'll save those benefits uh, for the end for those people that are interested in understanding why it's such a great exercise. Um, but for those of you who already incorporate landmine pressing either in your own programs or the programs of your clients or athletes, uh, just some tips I found that really just help the exercise and be even more effective for either yourself or the people you work with. So, uh, the first consideration is just like every exercise, how you set up and start the drill is going to dictate your success during the lift and then by extension how much you receive uh, from a training effect standpoint. So, everything starts with the setup. So, you can do a lot of variations of like my press, tall kneeling, half kneeling, parallel stance, staggered stance. I'm just going to be talking about the standing landmine press for today. So when you go to set up, you'll notice a lot of people just haphazardly just pick it up around the back and then go up into it. So it all starts with picking it up off the ground, make sure you have a nice neutral spine, then pick it up and go into it just because it's silly to tweak your back doing an upper body pressing exercise. So once you've picked it up with a nice flat back, uh, this is even more imperative, of course, once you move into heavier weights. But we recommend starting with the bar in the top position. So use two arms to get the barbell up to the top. Then get yourself in the position, go to one arm, and then you're ready to go. Because if it's, if it's pretty heavy and it's challenging, and you start down here, it's going to be a lot more stressful on that shoulder joint. So use both arms to get it up there, and then you'll get a little bit of an eccentric preload to come down and then help you go back up into the top position. So, so set up well, start at the top, and then two, it is a shoulder friendly pressing exercise, but just like everything, if you do it wrong, it's not gonna be very shoulder friendly. So, one thing we see a lot of people do is when they come down, they really let their shoulder roll forward in the socket. What I mean by that is they'll come down, and that shoulder will come way forward, and then they're pressing back up. So just set up in a way that you come down just about right here, don't let that shoulder roll forward, then press back up. Uh, one thing that can help with that is just as you're pressing, put your hand on the anterior shoulder and go down just until you feel that shoulder want to roll forward or uh, glide anteriorly, and then go back up. Two, uh, make sure you're not compromising form for the weight you're using. We'll see a lot of people, they try and go too heavy and then they press up and their elbow flares to the outside. So keep your, keep your wrist and your elbow stacked so as you're pressing, it should be right in line. The weight shouldn't be so heavy that you have to come way out here. Uh, third consideration is just be mindful of your core position. Uh, this is especially important for those who have extension-based back pain where they live with their butt sticking out and a tall, tall chest. So when you go set up, Make sure I would tuck your pelvis just a little bit under you to get to neutral. Put your other hand on your ribs to keep them down so you're pressing from the neutral spine and you're not overextending like that. When you do it right, you'll actually feel it a lot in your abs on top of all the pressing muscles. So uh, those are a few considerations you can try out again. Um, start up with the setup. Use two hands to get it up there. Monitor what your shoulder's doing during the lift and then make sure you have a good neutral core position. Um, for those of you who maybe are seeing this exercise for the first time, it's a, it's a great shoulder friendly pressing exercise for either you know, overhead athletes or just people who may have, may have shoulder pain or, or need to worry about getting shoulder pain because you can use a neutral grip so it opens up the subacromial space a little bit. It also is a good way to incorporate a little bit more of a vertical press without going into full humeral elevation where you see a lot of issues take place. And then it can also be an issue even just for the meatheads in the crowd that are looking for a different pressing alternative. Um, maybe you don't have any dumbbells either in your, your home gym or, or um, say you're in a hotel gym or just your gym doesn't have dumbbells that go up very heavy. It's a great way just to use a barbell to get in another pressing variation. So uh, give those tips a, a try and hope they go well.